Ah. Uh, and the other one was better. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to another episode of Who's a Good Vlog. I am so sorry that I've taken so long to upload a new video. It's really just been a crazy time, but I'm settled now and hopefully we'll get back into the swing of things and we'll start it off with this episode on the Chihuahua. Just like any breed of dog, the history of the Chihuahua is shrouded in mystery and speculation, but it is generally thought that the breed originated in Mexico from the Tichichi breed. Now, the Tichichi breed originated with the ancient Toltecs around the 9th century, or that's when we have evidence of them being around. This isn't the only origin story to the Chihuahua, however, as some believe that it didn't originate in Mexico at all, but was actually brought over from China by the Spanish. Whichever origin story you believe, the breed that we know today was officially registered in 1904 by Americans who had visited the state in Mexico of Chihuahua and found the breed and brought it back home with them. Chihuahuas are, as you may already know, the smallest breed of dog that there is, with the standard not weighing much more than 2.7 kilograms in weight. The breed can range between 15 and 23 centimeters in height, but can grow up to around 38 centimeters in height, which still isn't very tall. But even among litters, the breed is known to drastically vary among size and weight. So just because your Chihuahua may be heavier or taller than the standard show dog sizes that you see, uh, doesn't mean that it's not a purebred Chihuahua. The breed has two variations on its coat. It has a smooth and a long coat, sometimes known as a short-haired and a long-haired coat. The smooth coat is short and shiny and usually remains closer to the body, but is not necessarily more smooth than the long-haired coat. Whereas the long-haired Chihuahua actually bear a more smoother feeling to the touch. Chihuahuas can come in solid color, tri-color, a brindle or a spotted kind of variations in many different color patterns. But the best thing to know about the Chihuahua's coat is that they are very easy to groom. As long as you are brushing them regularly, they shouldn't actually require a bath more than every month or two. So I believe that Chihuahuas have gotten a bad rap for being actually quite aggressive little dogs because of their small dog syndrome. But as is the case with all small dogs, it is generally the owner's fault for not training them properly and hence why they have developed this small dog syndrome. Smaller breeds like the Chihuahua aren't likely to get the same training as larger dogs because larger dogs pose more of a threat if not properly trained. But in saying this, small dogs deserve the same amount of training as large dogs do as well. And this is why the Chihuahua has gotten this bad rap for being quite an aggressive little dog. So if you combine the bad training with its small size, generally the Chihuahuas aren't the perfect match for a family with small children as they can get in little fights. But in saying that, there's nothing against a Chihuahua being a part of a loving family with small children. Chihuahuas just prefer one above many, meaning that they would usually favor one person in the family as opposed to the entire family as a whole. And generally, when it comes to hanging out with other dogs, they prefer their own breed as opposed to other breeds. Also, side note, the breed is also very much a den dog, which means it likes to have, you know, this kind of den area where it can really tuck itself into. So don't be surprised if you see it amongst covers or in pillows because they really like to get in there and just, you know, chill out. So the Chihuahua's most trialing time medically comes when it is just a puppy because it is born like newborn human babies with a soft spot on its skull, which will generally close up over time, but not always. This isn't considered a defect for the breed or a disease or anything like that. It is just something to consider when you are raising the breed as a puppy. In addition to some very common dog problems like patella luxation or bum knees, chihuahuas can also become hypoglycemic, which is common among toy breeds, and they can also develop heart problems like uh, heart murmurs. But the most common symptom that you will see in your chihuahua is shivering. It's not entirely clear why the chihuahua shivers, but it is generally thought that they do this for three reasons, either that they are cold, 
that they are excited or that they are stressed. The FCI has classified the Chihuahua under Section 9, which is the Toy and Companion group. Other breeds in this group include the Poodle and the Pekingese. The Chihuahua is often crossbred with other breeds of dog to bring down uh, the litter's size, which has given many variations in... Can you hear those sirens? Because that is super annoying. Someone's dying. The Chihuahua is often crossbred with other breeds in order to bring down the litter's size, and so has given birth to many variations on the breed, um, which include, I have written them down, we have the Cheagle, the American Bull Wawa, the Chalky, and uh, the Chewini, and many more. Yeah, many, many more. <laughs> The Chihuahua is the 11th most popular breed in America, so it does appear quite often in pop culture. The breed was Taco Bell's mascot from 1997 to 2000. A baseball team in the Pacific Coast League is called the El Paso Chihuahuas. Ren from the animated show Ren and Stimpy is a Chihuahua. There's Bruiser from Legally Blonde, which allegedly inspired Paris Hilton to own the breed. And then there is Beverly Hills Chihuahua, which has three feature-length films, which surrounds the adventures of Puppy and his family and friends. Whoa! Look at this book that I got. Chihuahua. Boom. Look at it. Look at it. Wait. Wait. Okay, look at that. Oh, look at this. What a, oh, it's tiny. Absolutely tiny. That is a human hand. Tiny. You know, sometimes you just need a good dog book to uh, cheer you up. Oh, a promising puppy at three months old. That's the caption. Oh, it's pr <laughs> promising. Can you please autofocus on the dog? All right, well, thank you all for tuning in for this episode. It was a bit of a mess, but we got there in the end. Hopefully, I'll be uploading videos more consistently from now on. We'll see how I go. So you guys can follow me on all my social media accounts. Twitter, Facebook, I guess. Snapchat, Instagram. <laughs> That's all of them. I guess I have a website if you want to check that out it's changed but as always thank you so much for tuning in have a great day and I will see you later